with me now, Shmir, you the CEO um, of Vodacom. Thank you very much for your time. You know, whirlwind trip for you to COP27. What are key takeaways? I think, in the, you know, really the commitment um, in terms of trying to create a better planet for, for our kids. And um, I think what's um, what's been amazing is the, the level of attendance, uh, which which shows the seriousness of the uh, of the issue, but also the commitments that are coming from governments and corporates alike. And, and Shamil, from a telecommunications perspective, the key themes that you feel you take home and perhaps change the way that you engage in the telecommunications industry? I think the first part is that, of course, we as a corporate need to do our part in terms of um, uh, reducing our emissions, but also in terms of moving towards net, uh, net zero. And I think what we've done is make uh, clear commitments in that regard, that we'll um, uh, um, reduce our GHG uh, emissions by 50% by 2025, uh, but also try and re uh, source by 2025 100% of our electricity from renewable sources. And I think that's, that's quite a big part for us. So that's the one part. The second part is, what is our role uh, as Vodacom in helping to create the technology for good that can actually help uh, solve some of these uh, climate issues? And how can we play a, a, a bigger role in, in improving the planet uh, to a large degree? And in that respect, you know, um, we, we, we bring some of our platforms and the, and the abilities of those platforms to, to, to solve real life crises, I think is one of the big things. So example would be our farming platforms, our My Farm Web and Connected Farmer platform, and the impact that's already having in countries in terms of uh, improving food security and availability of food and, and producing a better uh, yield of crop, I think has been quite amazing. And you recently commissioned a, a survey around the, the digital environment with regards to farmers in a number of different African countries. Can you elaborate on the findings? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the big things is, of course, given the um, Ukraine crisis and how it's impacted, um, in, impacted the world, and of course, Africa has not been immune to that in any form. In fact, it's, it's, it's got more of those struggles that's impacted because if you're buying your equipment and stuff in dollars, it's become a lot more expensive. Fuel prices um, have gone up. So, you know, these, these things have, have impacted farmers in their ability to, to run a profitable farm. Um, and the ability for technology to play a role, I think, becomes really, really critical. Um, and that's, you know, so, so what farmers have expressed is this dismay uh, of uh, being able to, and the pleasures that they face, but also acknowledge the role that technology can, can play in helping them. So giving them access to these platforms has become critical for, for us. Um, and so we have, um, you know, we have um, uh, uh, solutions that deal with large farms like My Farm Web. And we, have, we have our connected farmer uh, solution, and we have over two million farmers now using our uh, our platform across the continent. So I think that's really uh, been been quite key. But it's also such a key focus, given that agriculture is an underpinning for the entire African continent. Correct. One of the other problems, uh, is um, the loss of water. Uh, all the way from South Africa to Egypt, where you know you're losing as as much as 20 to 25 to 30 percent of your water is being lost due to leaks, and this is a a, a problem that Africa is plagued with. So we have solutions for that. Um, we have a solution that we're displaying here uh, at our uh, at our booth in, uh, uh, at COP27. Uh, that's that can be utilized in Egypt, but we also have solutions that we build out uh, out in South Africa that can help to put sensors onto the pipes and identify exactly where the water uh, leaks are coming from and then it makes it so much easier to, um, uh, to solve. We also have solutions that we've developed that can reduce um, uh, power consumption in a building or in a base station by much as 20 to 30 percent. And so those solutions we want to uh, implement across, um, across the continent and play our role in terms of helping. Shamil, has it been worthwhile your trip to COP27? Very much so. Uh, I think, um, you know, basically, uh, firstly being exposed to everything um, and uh, meeting different partners that are willing to partner with us, that are willing to work on solutions with us, I think it's become, is quite critical. And having so many world leaders in, in one place, 
um, I think also makes a big difference because you can gain access and have those discussions and and they focused on 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 the climate change issue because they are uh, and so it makes those discussions a lot easier to have and um, uh, also finding finding solutions. Julian Wilson, thank you so much. Always great chatting to you. Thanks, and excellent to chat to you at COP27, Shah Sheikh Egypt. Thank you.